like to talk to you about rib cage placement and I'm going to use my resistance band here just to help me uh, get the correct body position. So if you own a resistance band or you could use something like a belt, you might find it quite helpful just for keeping your hands or wrists aligned with your shoulders during the exercise. So I'm going to demonstrate this from a kneeling position and then just quickly show you how you might like to do this in a lying down position as well. So from kneeling, we want to be kneeling here with a nice neutral spine. So you shouldn't be leaning backwards or forwards or to the side, just shoulders back, all the usual things. Now what we should find with our rib cage is that the bottom of our ribs should be pointing down towards the ground through our pelvis. What sometimes happens is we poke up to the sky, we extend our upper spine and our ribs start to poke forwards. So I'd like you to imagine you've got some little pieces of rope, so there's no elastic here, attached from the bottom rib down to your pelvis. So you can't lean backwards and you also don't want to lean forwards because the ropes at the back are nice and tight as well. So you've got ropes from your ribs down to your pelvis at the back and at the front holding you in position. So I'm going to take a hold of my resistance band here. I'm just holding it at the width of my shoulders and I'm not applying any pressure to it. It's just there as a visual aid. So for this little rib cage placement exercise, you're going to breathe in to prepare. And then as you breathe out, engage the core and just start to float the arms forwards. And we're going to try and get them right above our head without poking those ribs up towards the sky. Breathe it at the top. And then breathe out to lower the arms back down again. So I'll just do another demonstration for you silently. And coming back down again. So what you should have seen is that my rib cage was staying steady, my spine and my pelvis, and all the movement was coming from my shoulder joints. If I just show you from a front position as well, again the hands are just at the width of the shoulders, just watch the movement of the arms. And come back down again. Now if you have shoulder injuries or any shoulder restriction, just go as far as you can manage with this exercise, okay? Don't worry, the movement of the shoulder will happen and you will find that you can get those arms a little bit higher. Now this is quite challenging to do in a kneeling position, so I would say that if you're a beginner, it would be really valuable to do this exercise first, lying down on your back in a supine position. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of what that would look like here. Again, I'm going to use the band in my hand, just at the width of my arms. I'm going to lie myself down, have my legs bent in this position, and from here, you want to think of having a neutral spine, feeling your shoulder blades flat to the mat, the chest is open, and again, you've still got those pieces of rope from your ribs to your pelvis, front and back. So what we don't want is to see your spine arching up and down. We should be keeping everything really nice and still. So from here, spine and float the arms back over to where they started. So what we want to try and do is keep our shoulders down and away from our ears, our shoulder blades flattened together in our back and sinking down towards the buttocks. And those little coaching points are the same whether you're doing this exercise lying down as I am now or whether you're trying to do this from a kneeling position. Okay. So this is a really valuable exercise to help you with the mobility of your shoulder joints. It helps you engage your core. It helps you keep your rib cage in a really nice position there and helps you fundamentally with your great posture. So it seems like a very simple exercise, but 
actually when you try and get all of those things correct, it's quite a challenge and it's well worth video recording yourself like I am now, having a little look back and seeing where you can make some improvements. But it's a really fundamental training exercise and I'd highly recommend you do it. Even if you're a more advanced student, there's always something to learn in this position. So feel those core muscles working, feeling the mobility through your shoulders and that lovely upper body posture. So good luck with that one and leave your comments and your questions below for us.